Even though we've known for a long time that a diet high in fiber is good for us, for our gut health um, and for our cardiovascular health, uh, it's only be been recently that with the microbiome science that we have found an explanation or a major explanation for this health benefit. So the paper by uh, Martins um, and co-investigators uh, co in Cell entitled Dietary Fiber Deprived Gut Microbiota Degrades the Colonic Mucus Barrier and Enhances Pathogen Susceptibility. There's an interesting uh, editorial written to that paper by Gazaniga and Casper, also in Cell in 2016. And uh, the authors really summarize nicely the, uh, so some of the key take-home points of the original paper. They start out with the um, summary that the Western diet is characterized by increased fat and sugar intake and decreased fiber intake. And this has been implicated in a wide variety of diseases, including cancer, colon cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. We also know that the Western diet is associated with uh, changes in the microbiome. And um, the authors suggest that many researchers hope that if we determine which of the bacteria necessary to promote a healthy gut are missing from our diet, we will be able to design a remedial probiotic or a prebiotic, meaning a supplement that feeds specific bacteria, or to change our diets uh, could, we could protect ourselves against disease. And recent studies show that dietary fiber promotes the growth of so-called symbiotic bacteria that increase the production of short-chain fatty acids and protect the host from a variety of the same diseases that we mentioned in the beginning. Now in the study, as we discussed by DECIDE, um, they found that, um, that a decrease in, or that an increase in mucus degrading bacterial species, um, Achaemantia mucinophilia is one and Bacteroides um, coxae is another one that they were they increased on their um, fiber-free diet um, and that the growth of fiber metabolizing species um, uh, actually decreased. And one of the more interesting parts about this uh, about their study and that's emphasized in this editorial that the prebiotic enriched diet affected microbial community um, in a man in a manner similar to the um, fiber-free diet, suggesting that eating foods containing prebiotics does not have the same beneficial effect as actually eating dietary um, fiber. So this editorial um, highlights a very important take-home message from um, from the from the design paper: the substitution or the addition of a simply a prebiotic. Um, which benefits a particular strain of, of uh, gut microbes is not sufficient to protect us against the effect um, of this alter balance between mucus digesting bacteria and um, mucus production compromising the, um, the gut barrier. If you want to stay healthy, if you want to do something good for your um, gut health and your gut microbial health, Eating prebiotics and while sticking to a typical Western diet um, will not do the job and will not give you the benefits that are so often uh, propagated by uh, commercial entities and on the internet.